Hi Libra, this is the Warrior's Journey Tarot. We're going to do your love reading today for April 18th to the 30th. I'm going to pull cards from Tarot and then um, a love or love deck or two and then maybe one general. Let's see what we get. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit Guides, can we please get a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Thank you so much. For April 18th to the 30th. What do they need to know for the end of April here, the second half, April 18th to the 30th? What do they need to know in love and romance? This is for Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For April 18th to the 30th, what do they need to know? For Libra, April 18th to the 30th, what do they need to know? What does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th? In love and romance, what does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th? What does Libra need to know? For April 18th to the 30th, what does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th? What does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th? What does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th? What does Libra need to know for April 18th to the 30th in love and romance? Wow, that's a lot of shuffling. There we go. Walking away from the devil. Self-love. You're walking away from something unfulfilling. You got the devil energy. Somebody who is super controlling and obsessive and toxic. You tried your best with the Eight of Cups. It didn't go to Wish Fulfillment, which would be Nine of Cups. Didn't go to Happily Ever After, which is Ten of Cups. So you just stacked your cups up and you're like, I tried. This person's so toxic. Can't be fixed. I need to go save myself. Blocking. Wanting more. Wanting to start your own um, kingdom. Your own own. Your own future, okay, on your terms. That was super quick. Because is there really anything else that we have to talk about when it comes to what the devil is all about? Let's pull some love oracle cards. What, is, what does Libra need to know, please, for April 18th to the 30th? What does Libra need to know? So <clears throat> there might even be a message or communication coming through. It looks like you're scared, like you're blocking this, Libra. Look, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Soulmate, okay. Religious factors. Walking away in the devil. Can we clarify? Let me just do this. I'll put this here on the bottom. Can we clarify the devil? Can we clarify the devil? What's, what's the devil about? There we go. Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn. Hermit. You might be dealing with a Capricorn because these are both Capricorn. Devils ruled by Capricorn, as is the Queen of Pentacles. Libra is walking away. Might be wife, like a wife, partner. Someone who's super controlling. Could be you. You could be successful. Maybe you're focused more on your coins and, and work. Wanting to start some new business, new family, new relationship somewhere else. Can we clarify? Okay. Juggling finances, fear, healing, healing. End. Okay, I'm just going to pull some love cards because what are you scared of? Like, there, okay, yeah, something is toxic, definitely. Ten of Swords is brutal. That's rock bottom. What is Libra running from? What is Libra running from? Because even here it goes, it's safe for you to love. Maybe you, you've had some kind of toxic relationship in the past and now you're blocking this other person who's coming in. Knight of Pentacles is a Virgo, but it can be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be anybody who's in that kind of uh, energy wanting to offer a relationship or a commitment to build. And here you see Two of Wands is having your own home and your own life settled, but there's a new wand, a new inspiration, a new idea that's like got the globe in the hand. You want to travel, you want to do more with your life. You want more. 
if you have a curiosity or an interest in, in something new, but you're blocking it, you're blocking this person because why? You see the Knight of Pentacles here and you see this woman on a horse here. This person looks like the Knight of Pentacles trying to reach out, but she's like, uh, you know, I'm not getting off my high horse. Why? With well, high horse is a self-defense mechanism because you are scared because of a past crazy toxic controlling relationship. And you might have even cultural or religious differences as well. So maybe you came from a super restrictive background culture or something like that, where this person though is sincere. It's it's a sweet invitation from the heart. Like it's not it's not something crooked or sly or what see new love it's a new love yeah it's a new love on the bottom give it a chance there you go codependency see you have addictions are affecting your romantic life you might have children who are dependent on you you might have like a financial dependency perhaps with your ex who might have been super controlling and toxic or you might have um, some kind of addictions yourself because devil can speak to drinking too much or drugs and things like that. Or I'm not saying you're doing drugs. I'm just saying it could have something to do with that. So it's saying it's a new love situation. It's sincere. It's sweet, heartfelt. They want to build with you. Right? So it's saying to you, it's a soulmate connection, new love. You have so many reasons that you have put up of why you're going to block this person. Uh, they don't come from my background. They'll never understand my family. They'll never understand like how I do things, the food I eat, the places that I like to go to and stuff. Like I don't want to accommodate somebody at this time or phase in my life. I don't want to explain myself. I just want somebody who already knows like, and, and then yet it's a new love. It's saying, give it a chance. This is spirit telling you, give it a chance. All right. I'm going to pull a, uh... I'll pull a journey of love just because this person, like this is the deeper card. I was going to pull a lighter card, but I'll pull the deeper cards because this person has such a sincere, deep feeling, sweet energy that I feel like I should try harder. So this is journey of love by Atlanta Fairchild, Libra. What does Libra need to know, please? What advice is there for Libra with this love and romance relationship here for April 18th to the 30th? What guidance is there for Libra? What guidance is there for Libra, please? What guidance is there for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra... There we go. Thank you so much. Devotion to the small. I love this. Yin Yang Lover. Eight. Let's read Devotion to the Small. 32. She bows, she honors growth. She sees that within the smallest flower there is the teaching of the earth, the gospel of Gaia, the mystery of life demonstrated. She recognizes that she too is of nature, subject to the mysteries of growth and life, that in honoring nature, in taking pleasure in life, she opens her heart to allow great creation to happen through her. This is the feminine wisdom, alive in men and women with open hearts. There is an innate wisdom within you that understands this devotion to the Earth Mother as an important step in fulfilling your spiritual destiny on this planet. She is speaking to you now, letting you know that there is a small change happening, something that is growing within you, that you may recognize but not think is so important. Yet she tells you now that it is very significant. Soon you will see that what you thought was a seed to yield a single flower is actually blossoming into a lush garden of manifestation. Gratitude and love for the small changes happening are leading you into fullness that you can only dream of, enjoy. The message of this oracle for you is that your blossoming is occurring now and the Earth Mother has gratitude for your presence within her being, for the work you are doing to help other human beings. She asks for you to surrender any concern you have to her, to let her creative power continue to gently guide you into your rightful place in the world, that you may shine as you were born to do, in service to the evolution of this planet. She is helping you now. Trust her. And the poem says, a flower is a poem that tells you the truth of a thought in the fragrance of a dream, as fleeting as a heartbeat, as lasting as a memory. How lovely, how beautiful. So Libra, that is your reading for the 18th to the 30th in Love and Romance. It's saying it's a new love situation and you have your guard up because of a past love. So you might be acting all like, you know, uh, precious and stuff like you know you're too good for this person or acting defensive and it's saying this person is sincere and they're worth it it's a soulmate connection and to give it a chance even though you guys have cultural differences it's still worthwhile all right thank you for watching i'll be back with your weeklies i'll talk to you guys soon bye for now